Kalouve is the new Valorant agent and a lot of people think they're overpowered. They can self revive and have two lives, instantly drop you down to 10 HP, and even use smokes after dying. When you initially hear and see all that, it's easy to see why so many people think Clove is broken. But if we look at all the gameplay we have so far and really break it down, you'll start to notice some of the downsides in Clove's kit. By no means do I think they will be a bad agent, in fact I think they'll be really good and fun and ranked, but let's take a look at each of these abilities, some of their stats, and why they probably aren't as good as you first thought. First, let's talk about Clove's signature ability called Ruse. Obviously the key takeaway here is that they can be used after you die, but I want to look more into the general stats of the smoke first. In terms of size, it seems to be pretty similar to an omen smoke, however the duration is actually shorter, as clove smokes seem to last for only 12 or 13 seconds, making it the shorter smoke in the game in terms of duration. The cooldown is also 30 seconds, which is the exact same as omens. Being able to smoke while dead as clove obviously means you can play in the front line and not have to worry about dying as much. However, where you die is important. What you see on the left when spectating is centered around to where you died and locked in place, so you can't smoke too far away from where you died. With this in mind, you'll need to be careful that you're still within range of wherever you plan on smoking. Like, I understand the massive potential of dropping smokes in a 1v1 while you're dead and watching your teammate, and just in general impacting the round post-mortem. However, in order to do that, the rest of the round actually has to take place near where you died. And I wouldn't even be surprised if people deliberately start rotating, knowing they killed Clove to get out of their smoke range. Next, let's look at Clove's C ability called Pick Me Up. After eliminating a player, you can press C to get an overheal and speed boost for 10 seconds. Now, this ability is really cheap at only 100 credits, we have to remember not only is the duration short, but the overheal doesn't linger. Like with Reyna, you'll stay at 100 health after the fact, however on Clove, you'll drop back to whatever health you're at originally. As cool as the overheal is, you're still going to be one tap to a well placed van or headshot or an ob shot, and I think the speed boost is almost more impactful than the heal to be honest, when it comes to swinging players aggressively. You also need to consider that you actually have to get a kill in order for this ability to do anything. It's not like a flash or a stun, where you can guarantee use out of it. It is worth noting that this ability can actually be used without line of sight to the body though, which is actually better in comparison to a Rainer heal. Overall, this ability definitely isn't bad, but I think considering the heal only lasts for 10 seconds, it isn't overpowered by any means. Clove's Q ability is called Metal. It costs 250 credits, and you get to fire out an explosive that decays all enemies in a large radius. This ability is quite straightforward, and there isn't too much to unpack here, honestly. The decay deals 90 damage and lasts for around 3 seconds, before the HP will return back to normal, so it is a pretty particular window that you will have to capitalise on. Also, metal will automatically explode after what looks like a little over a second, and as far as I can tell, it will always activate at that exact amount of time. So this means that lineups where you throw it straight up into the air won't work, because it will just explode and hit nothing. Metal is going to be very harsh on line of sight as well. Credit to Wahujin for this example, but you can see much like Fade sees, you need direct line of sight to the centre of this ability in order to be affected by it. There's a lot of potential here to be combined with other damage dealing abilities, or even just eco weapons that deal lower amounts of damage. While this ability looks great on paper, I don't think it has quite enough to make Clover must pick or anything, I think compared to the other controllers, something like an Omen Paranoia has a bigger impact overall for the team, but this will be a lot of fun dropping people down to low HP and swinging them. Finally, we come to Clove's ultimate ability called Not Dead Yet. Once you die, you have a 5 second window to respawn. If you do respawn, you'll have a Reina dismiss briefly to reposition before getting your gun back. You then need to get a kill or damaging assist within 12 seconds of respawning, otherwise it will go back to being dead. Now this ultimate is only going to cost 7 points, which I think is a pretty fair price. And while getting the revive off itself sounds simple enough, you're pretty quickly forced into taking another fight, unless you're just stalling for time or something. You'll have to be pretty confident for whatever reason that you can actually take and win that fight, because if the enemy has too much time or space, then they will just run away, similar to a Phoenix ult, and then you've wasted your ultimate on Clove. One thing I do wonder with Clove's ultimate is whether or not it has the potential to give enemies two ultimate orbs, since you'll get two full kills. And then with that, that would also mean you're giving an enemy 400 credits if they manage to kill you twice. I imagine that's how it's going to work at least, and I think giving two ultimate orbs to one person is particularly bad, so yeah, that's just something to think about. Overall, Clove's kit lacks a lot of stall or defensive utility when compared to something like Omen Paranoia. I know that's a comparison I've been making a lot, but that's important to consider because that's probably who Clove is going to replace in your average team comp. They're also just a very selfish agent in general, similar in to that sense where two of the abilities are just purely for themselves to use, then sure the metal has potential and you'll be smoking for your team, but Clove can't offer as much support as other controllers. I do think that's fine though, they're filling a different role in the controller class, and it should be really refreshing to play them in ranks running it down. I do think Clove will be both good and popular in competitive play, where naturally players are more inclined to swing and play more aggressively. Team comps in general don't matter too much there, and so players will probably be able to carry on Clove with the extra confidence that their kill will give. So while I don't think Clove is absolutely game breaking and broken like a lot of people are saying, I can definitely see how this ability to smoke after dying is going to shake the game up. That's just what I think though, and I'd love to hear your guys thoughts on Clove. I've got early access and we'll be making plenty of videos around Clove soon, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.